Welcome back to Key and Plays. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update on this handheld game station that I bought, this SF2000. Yeah, in a previous video that I did, uh, there was there was a few things that I wasn't really too sure of. And, uh, and yeah, I just wanted to kind of go through them with you guys and uh, give some answers to some of your questions. There's also some things that I just didn't know uh, my myself, I didn't really know how it uh, how it worked. Uh, one of the things for me that was a huge help by one of the commenters actually was just uh, like going back to the main menu when you're in a game. Previously, I was just like restarting the whole system, which yeah, not really good for this. So instead, you just have to hit select and start at the same time. <laughs> And then it brings this uh, in-game menu up, and you have a few options here. You can resume the game, quit the game, and that'll bring you right back to the main menu. You can load any of the save files that you've created for that game, or you can save the game, obviously. So yeah, that was a huge help for me. I really appreciate that. Uh, one of the other things that was mentioned was adding games to your favorites list and uh, yeah that's just done by when you're in these menus here you just hit the y button and it'll save it to your favorites but that only works for these menus here if you're trying to do it through oops if you're trying to do that through your history it won't work you can hit Y, doesn't do anything. And same for search. When you're searching up a game, it also won't work. You can't add to favorites that way. And once you have them in favorites, you can uh, just get rid of them by hitting the X and then it'll bring up that little menu there where you can remove them. Yeah, one of the other things that was really bumming me out about this little system here was the SNES games. They were all acting uh, very slow. Some of them were like, I think like half the speed they normally are. And yeah, just like horrible. Like you can even just hear it in the music. Yeah, just really slow. But uh, another thing that was mentioned to me by the people commenting on the video was just restarting the game and uh, and it should should speed things up and yeah for the most part uh with the games that i've tried it on yeah you can already tell the difference like that's crazy it's got to be like twice or three times as slow <laughs> so yeah there you go you just restart it and uh yeah way better so that was also something that just makes this game system way better being able to play these SNES games because there's like over a thousand of them. Uh, there was one thing that I, <laughs> I was noticing. I've, I've kind of been going through all of these games and adding a bunch of them to my favorites. Like there's, there's a bunch of these games here like, oh yeah, well there's all these Tiny Toon Adventures that they all have the uh the same like name and i'm not sure if there's something that you can do there for that to like be able to read the whole name because like look at this like there's five games six with that one seven with that one eight with that one they all say tiny two adventures uh all from like you know different consoles how do you know what each one is you can't you can't read any more of the title so I'm not sure if there's something there that I'm also missing because any, you know, these don't do anything. Doesn't seem like these do anything. Select just goes back. So, so that was one thing that I was kind of, uh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> like, I mean, you do have the pictures that you can kind of make out what, uh, what's going on there, but not really. I thought that was kind of funny. That's just one example, but there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of things like that because obviously you're gonna have multiple games that are on each system, right? 
so you're gonna have the exact same name and then the only thing that you can really do is try and you know tell the difference between what the pictures are which sometimes you can I mean obviously these ones here are Game Boy games and then you know Game Boy Color or I mean possibly Game Boy Advance I don't know or I think some of these ones are also from NES games so it would have been nice to have kind of some categories that you have in your favorites folder as well and maybe that's something that you can modify I'm just not I'm not too good with that sort of thing so I don't know 100% myself regardless you are able to search up whatever you you know want like if I if I want to play <laughs> Tiny Toons, then yeah, I can just look it up. And there you go, you got a ton of <laughs> ton of Tiny Toon Adventures games here. Uh, and again, you don't really know, you know, from what system other than Game Boy, just because of the black and white. So that's really the only defining feature. I mean, other than some of these are gonna be obviously like higher end graphics but yeah it's just kind of hard to pick out which game is what especially when they have a longer name like tiny two adventures and then a subsequent title that you don't get to see not a big deal but you know just something else i wanted to bring up to you guys other than that though, uh, I am I'm very happy with this thing. Like I would I would definitely recommend picking up one of these. It's it has got like so many games on it, <laughs> and and like it's just it's a handheld. Like it's it's perfect. You can literally take this thing everywhere. You're never really gonna get bored of it. Like you have so many games to play, and then bonus you can play with a friend. And you can also hook it up to the TV and I tried that it comes with a super long cord which is honestly really helpful um, yeah just because the last uh, the last kind of Game Boy knockoff thing that I got it also had the ability to hook up to the TV but it came with like a three foot not even like a two foot length of cord and so <laughs> like you can't really play off of the controller that also hooks up to the screen so that was kind of funny but this one yeah came with a super long cord you can sit pretty far back from the TV and then yeah if you needed to play with a friend like it's a wireless controller so it works great and if you're just playing by yourself then like, you don't even need this near you because you can have player one right here I already went over that in my first video but yeah honestly for, uh, oh, there we go. Honestly, for 30 bucks, or I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was around 30, like 33, 34 bucks. This thing is, it is sick. I would definitely recommend picking it up. Now that I've played it for a while, this is, it's the best. It is probably the best thing that I've bought from AliExpress so far. And I'm pumped to have it like I really don't I don't really feel the need to buy any other like emulator type of systems other than you know this only goes up to SNES it'd be nice to find something that did like PS1 games or N64 or some of the you know Sega Dreamcast Sega Saturn type of stuff that would be sweet to find but for what this is, it has got all your all your Nintendo handhelds uh, besides like DS, and it's got the older Nintendo games, older Sega games, and uh, and a bunch of arcade games as well. Which that is that's sweet. Like all of these games, you have so many fighting games in there. For for two player, that is awesome. If there's anything else, you guys can think of that you know you'd like to know or if there's any more <laughs> any more information you could give me that uh, that I don't know myself because <laughs> yeah my last video like yeah it was it was really nice uh, seeing some of the comments and helping me out with 
with uh, the things that I, I didn't really know about this. So that was great. If, if there's anything else like that, just let me know. And, uh, and if there's anything you guys want to know, just yeah, comment, uh, comment down below and I will try my best to help you out with it. But yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Like I said, feel free to comment, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Thank you.